in uh, the old time, they call it the metallurgical engineering department, but now they call it materials engineering. And, uh, and some of my uh, work that, that I did while I, I was at university, I prefer not to talk about them. <laughs> the, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the greatest thing that, that I did there was to, uh, uh, to in the truth, use our metallurgical engineering department to a material at Christmas time we call purple Jesus, <laughs> yeah. which is a, a grape juice and, uh, and, and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we use the very pure al alcohol, the 99 plus per percent, which we <laughs> need for, for uh, polishing metallurgical samples okay. so they will not stain. And that's what we use to spike our, uh, our grape juice. With. Makes for quite a party. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they would have a lay ladle of steel and they would have an ingot to plunge into the molten steel to mix it up so they get a uniform bath of steel so that they can cast the steel with uniform properties from the start of casting to the end. Okay. And I said, that is backwards that is dangerous so i so so that's when i developed a porous plug and you will have a report of uh, that okay which i just gave you and if you could explain it uh quickly in layman's terms yeah how what would you how would you explain yeah. it uh, what does uh, it do i uh, i said it's dangerous to get an ingot and plunge it like that wouldn't it be nice if we can use some gases in in a porous brick and place in the bottom of a ladle and put gases through to stir the bath up? That would be a very good way of, of doing it. Okay. And that's how, uh, as you will see in the report, how I developed the porous plug. Okay. So more of a from the bottom approach yeah. and less yeah. from, uh, from the top. Yeah. So I, I went to brick manufacturers and I said, I would like a porous brick. And I said, not only porous, but continuous porous so I can put some gas through under pressure. Well, they showed me the door and said, we want to make our bricks as dense as possible so they can last as long as pos possible. And then the the government, uh, in the old days, they call it the Department of Mines, uh, uh, had a refractory lab there, and I approached them, and they said, well, we'll help you to make a porous brick. And we were successful in developing a porous brick, okay. which was usable, and now it is used throughout the world. Ch it changed the world of yeah, metallurgy. Yeah. So you not only w came up with the idea of, of, of finding a new technique, but yeah. you also developed the, the, the actual the, brick. Developed the a a actual brick. You will, sh that you will read in that little report that I sh showed you. Okay. Yeah, I know which I'll, I'll look and, at. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and no one knew about that. So uh, my wife said, you developed that 60 years ago. Why don't you tell the people how it came all about? And then that was the time I was sitting in the bathtub and I released some flatus, they call it a fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that's the idea. That's how it came there from. <laughs>